for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it I need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Make sure you check out my blog down below for uh, the outlook on the week ahead. Alright, so Gemini, immediate future, please. Shoot. I right, you got the Ace of Pentacles. You got an opportunity coming towards you. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. It's also could have required, oh, okay, the strength card could be dealing with the Leo. It looks like there's this opportunity that's here, and then there's some, it feels like it's on purpose waiting, like it's nothing that, we got to see what this is, because it doesn't feel like there's anything, it's, it's not like there's this big rush towards it. If anything, there's like almost a resistant type energy. <clears throat> Show me this Ace of Pentacles, please, for Gemini. What is this opportunity? Thank you. The Six of Pentacles. What's going on back here? This is around something that um, you've already been investing your time, your energy into. Tell me more about this Ace of Pentacles. You got the Five of Swords. It's something about it that feels like there's that not exactly trusting. Like maybe um, not getting back what you're putting into it. There could have been some anger around it. Uh, with the King of Swords, that's your energy. You could be dealing with another air sign. But this is coming up across as like an opportunity. But it, it's almost like it was one-sided or kind of feeling like, you know, there wasn't like this fair balance. Show me this temperance card, please. This is Sagittarius energy. This is about healing. That it kind of explains that it's, you know, kind of um, going with the flow and not really rushing towards things. The Seven of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Well, you're in this energy of, you know, somebody could definitely find you intimidating right now, but you are healing and you're putting time and energy into self, career, finances, your higher self. So that's a really good energy of healing. Also with the temperance card there, it's kind of like just going with the flow, being patient and letting things unfold naturally. Show me the strength card, please, for the outcome for Gemini. So the strength card is Leo energy. Oh shit. We got the high priestess there. Somebody doesn't know how you're feeling. You may be keeping a lot to yourself and it's coming across as like you're extremely protected. Like spiritually, that type of thing. Got someone there, angels there. The Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. It's nice that your money is coming from or around like uh, security, career, finances that you're going from the Nine of Pentacles to the Empress. So you're elevating here, but something, you know, it's almost like something tried to shortchange you or there wasn't this, this, I mean, it's, it's almost like there was anger because something wasn't equal give and take. It's, if it is like along the lines of money, to be like, you know, doing a job and then not getting paid for it or not getting paid the full amount, something like that. But this is definitely bettering oneself for career, finances, healing, could be meditating, the page of pentacles, taking care of self, whether that's like working out, going to get your hair done, and whatever it is. All right, Gemini, I hope this helped. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, 
that information below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.